If you guys remember back when I told you uh, the animals got underneath my truck and they tore up a whole bunch of stuff? When you live down here in the south, the devil's butthole, it gets hot. Um, exciting day today. We're finally gonna start on our build. Uh, truck's coming apart. About to pull it in here in the shop. And um, also, wait, I got one thing to show you guys. This came in the mail. Uh, any guesses what this might be? Comment down below. I'd love to see what you guys think. This possibly going on the truck today so yeah we went and got our tires put on our steelies uh, made a huge difference in acceleration um, the tire height is about 30 and the weight is about eight to nine pounds per corner so it made a huge difference I know you're probably thinking well that's only 36 pounds but because it's rotating mass it it, it makes a bigger difference. So um, when you go from, let's say, 22s, which the, the, you know, the mass is further out from center, it's gonna have much more of an effect on that rotating mass. So going to a 17 and a lighter 17 at that is also, you know, it, it feels like another couple hundred pounds came off the truck. I can light the tires up now. That's right, we can burn rubber from a dig. So pretty cool. Um, so yeah. We're getting the kit on. Um, I'm gonna try and get as much done today, but um, let's get to it. What is going on guys? Got an exciting day today. We're gonna get started finally, finally. I know after COVID, hurricanes, you know, everything, you name it, we're finally about to get started and I'm super excited. Now, um, don't, don't quite know where we're gonna start first. Um, we're just gonna start taking off, you know, taking off, taking apart stuff and putting stuff on there. Um, I'm gonna try and be as detailed as possible if you guys want more detail into what I'm doing or you want me to explain more, I can make another video for it. Just comment down below, you know, what part you didn't get or what part you want me to explain more in depth of, you know, or explain more in depth. And I'll put a video up, you know, that way you guys can, you know, see what I'm doing. All right, guys, let's get to it. Oh, well, I kind of switched it up on that intro, you know, so what do you guys think about that? You know, comment down below if you want to see more content like that.
So I took the front grill off. Uh, took the front grill off because this is where I'm gonna put the intercooler. I think um, there's also another spot underneath the bumper where you can put the intercooler. Um, but for this one, I think we're gonna put it right in front. We're gonna have to cut some of these brackets. Alright guys, so these little um, plastic little flaps right here, we want to pull those off so we can get gain access to the pipe. So yeah, that's it, there's two on each side, one on this side and one on the other side. And while we're at it, we're going to go ahead and take off this quote unquote cold air intake, get that out of the way, we won't be needing this anymore. Um, I haven't decided yet on if I'm still going to run the math or not. Um, if we decide not to run the math, there's a, uh, you have to break this out because um, this also contains the wires for the intake air temperature, which is a part of the mass airflow sensor. So um, we'll either have to do that or we'll just run the math. I haven't decided yet. That was simple. All right, I know I'm all over the place, but like I said, we're gonna try and get as much done today as we can. Um, while I'm over here on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull the spark plugs and the spark plug wires so we can get our uh, turbo manifold in. Ugh. All right, now that we got uh, the spark plugs and wires out, we're gonna climb under here and uh, pull off the exhaust, pull out the crossover so that we can, you know, get that exhaust manifold off and get our turbo manifold and our uh, crossover on. Let's get it. Ah! Woo! That is hot. Oof. All right, guys, if you couldn't tell by what you guys just heard, um, it's still hot underneath the truck. The exhaust is still hot and uh, some of the bolts are kind of stuck on there. So I went ahead and sprayed some PB Blaster on it. We're gonna let that soak and then we're gonna continue right here on the front. We're gonna remove the alternator, power steering pump. Uh, we're gonna take off the crank pulley and we're, gonna, we're doing all that so we can get to that front timing cover. We're also gonna pull our electric fans out. So let's get to that. And then hopefully by the time we finish doing that, the exhaust will have cooled off. I, I, I burnt myself, it was hot. So, one thing I just noticed. So, you guys remember back when I told you uh, the animals got underneath my truck and they tore up a whole bunch of stuff? Well, I did not know that they had unplugged uh, one side of my electric fan. So, it was only running on one fan. It didn't overheat. Um, what I have in here is the heavy duty uh, cooling fan from the, um, the 25, 3500s. So, yeah, this, these fans are a beast. <laughs> Got the radiator out, out of the way. About to yank off this water pump. About to use the balancer tool that I got. This thing will focus. Got this off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. This worked pretty well last time. We're gonna use it again. Came off super easy, guys. I recommend this to anybody 
that needs to take off their harmonic balancer. This thing just slides right out. Comes off pretty easy. It is hot. All right guys, we got our new timing cover that we're gonna use with our two oil drain fittings. We're gonna cap this side. I already got the, the new seal in. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, put that on. Let's get it. All right guys, got our new timing cover on there. Um, we did have to notch the power steering bracket and we're working on notching our AC bracket. All right, so. I went back underneath to uh, try and get those uh, those crossover those um, those bolts out for the Y pipe, and all of them came out except for one. One ended up getting stripped, and I thought, you know, I just keep on keep on you know hammering at it, and it'll just cross thread on the way down. Well, it's it's stuck in the middle. You can't go up. You can't go down. So I think I'm gonna have to cut that out. But um, I'm procrastinating on that because I really don't feel like doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish getting this passenger side exhaust manifold out. And then we'll get the turbo manifold on and test fit everything. Alright guys. Got our manifold in there. Now we're going to test fit the turbo. Alright, let's recap on what we did today. We got our timing cover installed. Uh, we had to notch our power steering bracket because we're keeping the other fitting. We might run twin turbos in the future. I don't know yet. If you're not going to run twin turbos, then you don't need to uh, notch that power steering bracket at all. Also, we're working on uh, notching our AC bracket. We need AC in this truck. It gets hot out here in the south. Uh, we got our turbo manifold mounted and we got our turbo uh, clocked, you know, position how we want it. And a um, couple mishaps though. Uh, we tore up our camshaft position since we're trying to get that out. Um, it happens. And then um, we have one of the nuts on the exhaust manifold on the stud. Um, that thing is completely rounded off. It, it wouldn't come out, so we're gonna have to cut that off. So yeah, stay tuned for our next video. We will be installing our oil lines on the turbo and possibly have a running video of it. I am excited. I am super excited to get this truck uh, up and running and get it out on the road and you know have fun ripping up and down the road. I think it's gonna be a fun truck. We're shooting for a thousand horsepower with our tier two kit. Also, I mentioned tier two kit. That is gonna be um, our next giveaway. So, we still have a few entries left. Uh, it started August 23rd. Uh, I think it's, uh, started August 23rd. Grab your entries here. We're gonna have a lot of fun putting this tier two kit on this truck and we wanna give somebody else the opportunity to do the same. Also, big news, uh, we might be moving to Texas. I'm not sure yet, so, um, it's still in the works. We're getting tired of these hurricanes out here in Louisiana. Comment down below which one's the best city. Uh, we we're thinking Dallas or Austin. Um, let me know, San Antonio. What do you guys think? And uh, we're also going to open our door to build. So if you want to bring your truck here, you know, you want, uh, want us to install a kit and get it tuned for you, we're, we're doing so. We're opening the door. So hit, uh, hit us up here, send us an email, direct message, you know, leave a comment. I'll get back with you. Uh, we'll see if we can get you in here and get you rolling. Um, I think that's it for the updates. Wait a minute. Hold on. Yup. Check this out, guys. Yeah, I'm super excited. Um, we got merchandise coming soon. These hats, um, t-shirts. We got you know a bunch of different things. They'll be on the website. Super excited, so stay tuned for that. That is it for the updates. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Mm -hmm.